Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we'll continue to learn about styling in Pandas. So how do we style a data frame? And in this video we'll build up on what we learned in previous video where we use the dot apply and the dot apply map functions. I will use those today as well. And in addition, we look at how to style only a slice of a data frame and how to use Lambda function to uh, format a particular column in a data frame. Also, we we'll look at how to represent uh, null values in a data frame. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here, I've already imported two libraries, NumPy and Pandas, and these are the versions have, and that I'm using. The first thing that we'll do today is create a data frame uh, to be used in this particular video. And for that, we'll use the same data frame that we had in the previous video. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that out. Uh, we'll have the random seed set to zero and then df is equal to pd dot data frame. And here we have uh, we'll create the column a n p dot lin space and this will have five rows so we have five there and after this we'll concatenate that so df is equal to pd dot concat and we'll put a list inside the list we'll use that data frame and we'll create a new data frame pd dot data frame and here we'll use random number so np dot random dot random and this would be a five by two matrix and we'll specify the columns here so columns would be you have the column b and we have the column c and finally we need to specify the axis is equal to one because we are dealing with columns and uh, here, so this is the data frame we have. What we are going to do here is we are going to add NNs. So let's go ahead and do that. At position one, one, we'll add a NP dot NN. And then at a position four, two, we'll go ahead and add another NN. And we'll use these later on in this video. So that's the NNs. And this is how the final data frame looks like. We have two NN values, couple of negative numbers and couple of positive numbers. Additionally, we'll go ahead and uh, type out the function that we used in the previous video, which was to color the negative values in the data frame as in the red color. So let's do that. This is the function and we have, we'll set the if x, and let's say if x is less than zero, then we need the color to be red uh, else we need the color to stay as black so that's that and we'll return a string here so it's a color and this is the format we want that string to be returned in and then we have format color so that's the basic function we are going to continue to use in this video as well now to get started for this particular video in previous video we did write a function to highlight the max values in our data frame column in this video we'll write a similar function uh, except that uh, this would accept both series and a data frame so let's go ahead and write that df is equal to highlight underscore max and this will take data and color We'll set it default to yellow and these functions are directly from the doc i'm trying to explain them as i type them out here create uh, first we'll create the attribute so that would define the uh, color to be used so attribute attr i uh, will set the background color background dash color and this is the string format now after this we'll type dot format and color so color is going to be yellow as we have specified above and then the next step here the next step would be to create a mask uh, similar to what we had in the previous one 
and then we'll return the style after that so here what we are going to do first which is new now is we'll check the dimensions of this incoming data so uh, to do that uh, let's go ahead and add another section here check our dimensions so if uh, the dimensions is equal to one then we know that it's a series if the dimension is greater than one then it would be a data frame and based on the value of n that we get above we can use that here so if n is equal to one we know that it's going to be a series and therefore the mask uh, would uh, use this particular line of code data is equal to is equal to data and max and we'll return so we'll set the style of that column so style column is equal to uh, for x in mask so for the uh, each boolean value in that particular uh, variable mask we are going to return attribute which is what we have up here if x if it is true else if it's not true then we return blank and thus we have this return style underscore column now if that's not the case if the dimensions are greater than one then here we are going to use uh, this particular block of code so we'll use from apply and axis is equal to none so spe specifically we we'll, are going to write column max so that's the variable we are creating data dot max so we get the max here and then we get the max of the data frame so we are getting max of all the columns here by typing d and uh, data that is df dot max and then we get the max of max so is equal to column underscore max dot max so this would be the maximum value in the entire data frame then we compare uh, create a mask based on that so data is equal to is equal to df underscore max and now once we have that we are going to create the style so style df is equal to pd dot data frame and np dot where mask and when it is true then we return the attribute else we return the blank and we are going to specify the index index is equal to data dot index is equal to data dot index and columns is equal to data dot columns now when we return we are going to return the style underscore df so that's the function we have and to use this function uh, we would type let's say we have the data frame df that we need to run the function run through this function then we will type df dot style dot highlight underscore max and therefore in the output now what we have is a data frame where we have highlighted the maximum values in each of those columns by uh, yellow color now we can go ahead and uh, chain this as we did in the previous video so let's try that df dot style dot backslash and here we can use the apply map for the negative uh, colors to be red so apply map color underscore negative underscore red and then we can use the highlight max so apply and here we can type highlight underscore max and then color is equal to if we specified so this is going to give us the dark orange so if we type dark orange and axis is equal to none now what we get in here is we 
have a data frame where we have the negative values labeled uh, uh, colored in red we have the maximum value which is colored in orange now if you if you remember in previous video we also wrote a function to highlight the max uh, highlight the maximum values in each column as well and if that was there then we would get those yellow highlights for each of these columns that we see above right here now let's see how we can apply that particular formatting to a specific part of a data frame so apply to subset of data frame and for that we'll again use df.style.apply now within this we are going to specify what we need to be done so we are going to use the function highlight underscore max and then color is equal to dark orange and axis is equal to none subset is equal to here we can specify what subset so let's say we want only columns b and column c so if those two columns are used then we see that the maximum value from those two columns is this 2.240 and that's what is highlighted now we could uh, there's another way we could do the slicing which is based on both columns and rows and in that case we would type df.style.apply map instead of apply and then color this time let's uh, look at the negative we'll use the function color underscore negative underscore red so we are trying to uh, convert the font color of negative numbers to red so here subset is equal to pd dot index slice and within square brackets we need to specify the row and column so for rows let's say we are going from uh, column say 1 to 4 and then for the rows as uh, the for the columns we have say column B and we have the column C now when we run this we see that we converted the negative values from only these two columns of course if there is no column negative value in the column a but if it were there then it would not have converted to the red color because here we specified that the subset uh, contains only the columns b and c uh, we can also check that uh, if we change this instead of one if we put that as three and run this now you can see that this negative value is uh, not uh, change color to red moving on let's look at another example where uh, we can format the values in the data frame so for this we'll use this uh, command df dot style dot format and here first what we'll try to do is change the decimals so to do that we would in the parenthesis we'll specify within quotes open close curly braces uh, in colon com uh, dot two and then person sign so in the output now we see that uh, these values are converted to percent and we have the two decimals after this one similar to this instead of if we want to add this type of formatting to only specific rows or specific columns instead of the entire data frame to do that we need to we can specify that as well so df.style.format and in here we can specify like a dictionary so let's say for column b we need uh, the same format as above so we'll use the curly braces two and then percent so that's what we need for a column b and then for column c we have a different type of formatting where we'll use let's say colon and then plus dot 2f 
now when we run this here we can see that the column a stays as is but we have changed the formatting for uh, both columns b and column c moving on let's look at how we can use a lambda function so i will apply that to only one column in this case let's try to apply that to column uh, a so df dot style dot format and again here we can specify within curly braces a and here we'll specify the lambda function lambda x and we'll use the we'll try we'll put a plus minus sign in front of the number so for that we'll use the unicode character u 00 b1 and open close curly braces and within the curly braces we will type colon dot 2f and after the quotations we have dot format and we'll, here we will specify let's say we want to uh, multiply it by 100 so that's the value and so in the output now we have the uh, column a which has the plus minus sign in front of it and all the numbers within that particular column are multiplied by 100. Now let's look at how we can uh, work with the NAN values. For this we can use a, func uh, a functionality called NA underscore replacement so uh, NA underscore REP for that we would type DF dot style dot format and here let's say the format in which we want this to be is uh, like this so we have 2f and after this we have na underscore rep is equal to within quotes negative sign so what we are doing here is in this data frame we are replacing the nan values with this hyphen and for other values we have uh, two decimals so when we run this we see that those two are replaced and all other values now have uh, uh, values up to two decimal places similarly we can combine this with highlighting as well so to do that what we would type is df dot style dot highlight underscore max dot format and here we can specify na underscore rip replace is equal to within quotes hyphen so now we have both the functionalities where we highlighted the maximum value in each of the columns and replace the nan values by the hyphen so finally let's look at one more uh, a variation of this where we are highlighting the null values as red so in this data frame we have these two null values to highlight them as red we need to type df dot style dot highlight underscore null so this is another inbuilt function null color is equal to red so as you can see the nn values in that data frame are now highlighted as in the red color that was it for this video i hope in this video you learn how to highlight the null colors how to again use the custom functions to highlight maximum values uh, negative values how to format specific slice of a data frame or a column of a data frame and also use how, how to use a lambda function on a specific column in a data frame. In next video, we'll look at couple more variations of this. Please like, share and subscribe. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.